try to equal the weight here to my wrist, right? So that way if he drops, if his hand drops, my hand springs forward. See, if I equal his weight. When he drops, my hand's gonna reach forward. When he drops, bam, reaches forward, okay? If you put too much strength, more strength than he has, when his hand drops, your hand drops also, see? That's not good. Equal your weight so that way when he drops, you, you spring forward. You have the, the elastic here. Just go right through. Go right forward. See? Okay, so on this one right here, we're trying to equal the weight also. Okay, so we keep it in and we turn. Trying to make an elastic, the wrist circling here. See? No rotation. Make a complete rotation to the center dot, to the center. See? And just don't, don't do this. Don't go forward like that. Just right along the center. Circle, circle. Feel the position. Circle, circle. Okay, one by one. So you can feel your hand circling across. Okay? Don't go too high. Don't go too low. Don't keep it like this because you could easily get trapped. Keep this distance. That's why you equal the weight of my hand because you're holding up my hand. That way you won't go down. Okay? Circling. Don't bring your hands out too much. Right there. And you just rotate along the center line. It's real loose, okay? It's real loose. That's how come it goes in that direction, okay? Try to keep it in this direction. Techniques come right out. Okay, so my wrist, there you go, right there. Towards the center. Okay, let's develop that flexibility. Now push slightly, push a little bit pressure on his bottom hand. His hand should run around, clips on me, and then I'm in the inside now. This is where we switch, okay? Right to the center line. Now, push energy here. Always keep this hand protecting this hand. That way it won't go through. Keep it alive. You gotta keep that in mind. Whenever you make a change, you're always protecting one. Okay, now, from the outside, push down. Now you can go from the outside to the top. Watch. See? So we have one circle. Then we have from the outside to the inside. So from the inside you're just you're just pushing down and then from the outside you're just running? From the inside from the outside inside here, right? right. I'm pushing on the weight. Right. So he feels my weight, he has to go around my, my weight. From the inside to the top, as he's going around and clinching on. See? Mm -hmm. And I'm already on the top again. So we have this way, and we have this way. Keep his, always to keep this hand protected, right in the center, because like if you bring it down, my hand will go right through. Okay, so we got one, keep this hand. Okay. Now we have two, see it? Okay, same thing, equal the weight of the wrist. So your motion could be going like this. You're developing as you're moving. So a lot of people, when they stick hands, they put too much energy here. So they don't know how to control the energy on the top and the bottom, they don't equal it. So they put too much either on top or the bottom. So if you equaling my weight, you'll be able to feel it. Because I'm going like this, and you're gonna go inside. As soon as I'm putting too much energy on one hand, you should be able to catch it by the feel. See, going around. Okay, so that's why you always gotta equal my weight. So we're turning, if I put too much, once you come right in. Okay, you should be within the distance already. You should be within the distance. I should go right in perfectly. Right there, just, okay. No, just tap it. <laughs> just go right here, here. That's it. Okay, so as soon as you feel that, you're able to go around. So keep that in mind. Just equal my weight, so that way you'll know exactly when somebody's using too much force. Right? Okay, the wrist here has to be very flexible in order to go from the outside to the inside. Let me show you. From here, see how it click? Now we go back to the bottom. See, you went, to, went from the bottom to one side. Look how I change. Stick, the sticking. I can go from the bottom, from the top to the inside also. Okay, watch how I did it. See, my hand was here protecting this part, right? So we have one going this way, 
to. Just going around. When you do this one, when you're going around this way, try not to lose contact. When you lose contact, he can also punch you. You see? So, watch again. Look how my wrist is. depends on the flexibility of the wrist. See how my wrist does it? See? That's it. Everything is very short. There we go. Okay. We're pushing down on this hand, and he's running in this position. Okay, that's just one way. Now, also, you can push him out from the center, and he comes back in. Okay? So let's work that now. Okay, so number one, push down, he runs in. Okay, come back to the center. Now, okay, notice. I always have this hand protected before I do any, any, mo any move. I wouldn't keep this hand like this, like that, because then it could get in. Okay, so I have this hand, I stop here, push out, he comes in. Okay, now I have this hand controlled, controlling this position, then I'll do this. Okay, then you go my weight. Okay, so we're, we're flowing. Okay, and again, going right into the feeling. Good. Okay, the next one we're gonna work on Okay, he's gonna palm forward, right? Now don't move, okay? He's gonna palm forward. You're gonna block this, this position. This hand is still protected. And as I'm punching, he's gonna rotate. Box out and then rotate your hand. Okay, and then we're going this way. Okay, so then he's gonna do the same thing. And then you just block it into motion. So you can feel, you can learn to feel and then just put it in the rotation. Then this one, then the other one comes. See it? And the box out just brings you back to Wrong. Right. See? You're right. going based on feeling. Okay? Keep it all center. Watch again. Okay, we're rotating. I'm blocking here. Keeping this hand here. As I'm gonna punch, we rotate. Right, and we're rotating, protecting the bottom. <coughs> okay, here. Okay. One by one. See? Okay, one by one. Go here and then rotating. Okay. See it? Okay, now this is the first one. Okay, the second one's gonna be, I'm from here, and I'm gonna try to punch in here, mm -hmm. in this position, right? So as I'm gonna punch, he's gonna build sound. He's gonna pierce forward, okay? Now watch this rotation. Now forward, we'll be here, okay? And then we'll just go right back into the roll, okay? Go by feeling. Now keep it more relaxed. Keep, try to punch. Keep it more relaxed. Try to punch. Okay, you're just going like this, see, here? Mm -hmm. And then you're rotating it. All you're doing is intercepting the punch. Okay? Now here I go again so you can do it. Okay, keep it positioned. Right? Yeah, that's it. And then just rotate. Okay, so what you're teaching you how to stop it intercepting in the center. Okay, then you're going back. Right? Now go again. Right? I'm going. Okay, right? Just right there. Just cut the line. Then we go back. Cut the line, we go back. Right. Okay? Let's work those.